Hey everyone, um, it's Casey coming to you from my office today, and I am here to talk to you about comics. As your instructional video for this week's, uh, this month's prompt from me, comics tell the story of your chosen family is the prompt. And uh, I'm really excited because I'm obsessed with comics and have been forever. I love to consume them. I love to journal as though it's a comic. I even love to share them sometimes. I like to make mine deeply personal and embarrassing, but also I use it sometimes for work. For example, when I did my PhD, I wrote my giant dissertation. And then I also shared the results of the dissertation in like a short comic. So here's all the things that I learned in a comic. Um, my idea behind it was like, how can I share the things that I've learned in the communities in which I research and comics are a cool way. Um, so you will have received this month a instructional sheet as well as a um, notebook, a sketchbook that's unlined and some really fancy drawing markers, like super fancy uh, because we can all make beautiful comics. I thought before I explained the examples, I might show some that I really like. So for example, this gorgeous piece is called Death Rat, and it's by Vivek Shreya. And all of the illustrations and coloring is done by Nestle. And this is one of my favorites visually, I think. It's just like totally gorgeous. And that's an example. I also really like this one. I thought it was super cute, which is The Times I Knew I Was Gay by Eleanor Cruz. Another adorable one. A more uh, black and white simple style, which is sort of what I'm into in my in my own practice. I have uh, Are You My Mother by Alison Bechdel, who I was obsessed with. Probably one of the first um, graphic novels that I ever read was the collection of Alison Bechdel's uh, weekly comics from the 80s and 90s called Dykes to Watch Out For. Amazing. You'll notice that there's a tiny Dykes to Watch Out For um, example in, in this in this piece. Uh, the other pieces that I highlight here are Trans Girls Hit the Town by Emma Jane and also a queer incursion into the world of Archie, Veronica, Betty, etc. Um, that's done by Ms. T. Franklin, which is super cool. Uh, anyway, so we're making comics. Let's do it. How do you do it? Uh, you need your fancy drawing markers, you need your sketchbook, and you need your instructional video right here. <laughs> uh, it can also be useful to have something like a book or a ruler to draw straight lines to make delineations if you want. Some graphic novels choose to use lines like Alison Bechdel and others do not like Eleanor Cruz. So there's lots of different ways that you can do it. I never use a ruler though I probably should uh, out of laziness. Uh, plus, I kind of like the way that it looks when I make something a little bit more um, like do it yourself. This one is called Oh Brother <laughs> about my enduring, uh, I don't know, malaise, <laughs> I guess we could say. Okay, so this month we're doing comics about telling the story of your chosen family. And the first step is to brainstorm. So I made a little illustration of a little pride swell brainstorm creature um, where I said, what is our story? Who's my chosen family? What story do I wanna tell? I know. Uh, and then the next step is to draw your outline. So I made my outline of a graphic, a little comic that I'm calling the bad lesbians my chosen family. Um, so this is my just my draft and I can read it to you. The Bad Lesbians. My chosen family emerged out of the pandemic. The Bad Lesbians. Angie, Amanda, Katie, Louise, Sabine, and Wendy. Alienated by changing cities, friendships, and relationships, we found each other. We dance, we eat, we walk, we support and shoulder and show up and love each other through good times and bad. I would choose them as my family forever. That's the bad lesbians. So this is as far as I've gotten. I haven't done my good copy yet, but that's coming up next. 
Uh, I'll share that with you, you know, when we're all sharing them. Uh, so the next step will be to draw my comic for real. I might even use color, even though I don't usually make uh, my comics in color. Usually when they're finished, they're black and white. Um, for example, here's one that's finished. That's too embarrassing. Also too embarrassing. Oh my gosh, these ones, I should have planned this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is an extremely embarrassing one. Here's one that's finished that's not that embarrassing. It is about a time that I once befriended a reality TV villain named Sophie. True story. I'll tell you about it in February. So the last step is after you finished making your comic, you can photograph it, you can email it, you can put it on our Discord server. And uh, then if you'd like, we can share it. And if not, that's also cool. So I'm so excited I get to see you so soon, or some of you. Um, those of that I don't get to see very soon, that's okay. I think we're going to have a plan to try to meet up again in August. So I look forward to seeing those of you that I get to see. And otherwise, I always love seeing your art. So have a super nice day. I can't wait to see your comics all about the story of your chosen families. Bye.